<coughs> Welcome to Bouncy Jelly Gaming. BJG for short. And yes, man, today we are going to be reviewing the DE-45 Assault Rifle. And uh, yeah, man, I have it at level 3. And this was this weapon was available as one of the rewards in the Revolve Street Creed event, which ended not so long ago. So yeah, uh, but yeah, I think the level two was the one that was in the um in the Street Creed event. So, but yeah, I I upgraded to level three, and as you can see, this this the way the level three the the level three looks like, which I think looks pretty dope. But yeah, I mean the DE forty five um. It looks nice, man. I like it, man. It looks really nice. But as you can see, it does 350 damage, 598, uh, something, something. I, I guess it's the ammo, and then the bullet velocity, which is 80, 805, I guess. So, yeah. But at level 3, I think this weapon is pretty, pretty good, man. It's, it's, it's not that deadly. It's not that OP, but, uh... But I think it's pretty good. It's nothing compared to the other weapons in the game. But but as you can see, this is the one that was at the um, at the Street Creed event. But uh, I'm gonna be reviewing the level three because the level three is the strongest one. And yeah, um, but yeah, man, this is the weapon that I'm going to be reviewing. And uh, let's go ahead and go to Vegas. And and as as you guys can see in my last video. I, I rebuilt the bike, this one, which, I don't know, man, like, this bike looks dope. But I guess why not use it, you know, for this video, so. Let's go ahead and go to a play where there's a lot of civilians. Which is, uh... Man, I'm kind of lost, to be honest. <laughs> I haven't been in this area that much in this game, so I don't know. <laughs> now let's go over there. Where is it at? Yeah, right here, man. Here's a lot of people here, so... Can you just show off the weapon here? Now, let's put the bike over here. Just just, just in case we want to escape. And let's go ahead and use the DE-45. Hopefully, this weapon is pretty good. And as you can see, man, it melt, it, it basically insta-kills the civilians, which is pretty good. Look at that. It looks, it, it's really strong. Like, for a Street Creed event weapon, I think this is a pretty good weapon. Oh, yes, man. Oh, yes. Okay, I, I, I killed that cop really quickly. And I also destroyed the, the, the car very quickly too. That, that's actually really good, man. That's a really good sign. This weapon is actually really strong. But keep in mind, guys, that this, this weapon, I have it at level 3, so I did max it out. Look at that, bro. You destroyed the car so quickly, man. Holy shit. <laughs> alright, alright. Yeah, man, this weapon is actually really good, man. It's very solid. Look at that, you destroy cars really quickly with this, uh, with this weapon. And the good thing about this weapon doesn't waste that much ammo, so which is really nice. Oh yes, man, this is this is pretty good, man. I like this weapon. Yeah, 
Even the boss. <laughs> wow, all right. Okay, so just a little cons. Uh, you cannot destroy armor vehicles with this weapon. Like tanks and the um, the SWAT uh, not the SWAT, but the the police, <laughs> the the military vehicles. So, so yeah, you cannot destroy the armor vehicles with this weapon, which is I guess the one of the cons for this weapon. But it still it still deals a lot of damage. Like it, it heals uh, it deals very high damage, very strong. And this is the thing that I like about weapons in this game. Like some of the weapons are very strong. You can like one shot uh, enemies and stuff, which makes makes them very very fun to use. Mm, it takes a little bit longer to uh, to uh, to kill the the the, um, the soldiers. So yeah, man. Uh, but it still one shots the billions, and it kills a police officer pretty quickly. Look at the taxi, they're gonna go down. Yup. Uh, there's a chopper. There's nothing we can do against the chopper because the chopper is also also has armor, so so yeah. There's nothing you can do against against the chopper with this weapon, so Uh, I guess I can use I can just use the sniper, right? Yeah, I can use the sniper. And as you can see, this be this tank is armored, so you cannot destroy it. You can't do any damage with this weapon, so... So yeah, man, this weapon is pretty useless against armor vehicles. Should we try and escape right now, or should we cause a little bit more chaos? Uh, I don't know. I think we should escape. I think I don't know.
But as you see, this weapon is still pretty strong though. The E45 is a pretty strong assault rifle. It's a very, very strong AR. So. Uh, let's go ahead and try and escape the uh, the military, so let's go ahead and go back to our bike. And uh, yeah man, hopefully we can escape pretty quickly like like in my, uh, like in the last video. <laughs> in the last video we escaped very quickly. Alright. Alright man, wish me luck guys, hopefully we can escape this one. <laughs> We jumped over the uh, on top of the bridge. What? And we escaped. We escaped that quickly. All right. <laughs> Look at my character, though. But yeah, man, we escaped pretty quickly. So. But yeah, man, uh, the DE-45, what do I think about the, about the DE-45 AR? I think it's a very, very, very solid AR. Very strong. The only cost about this weapon is that you cannot destroy, you cannot do any damage to the, um, to the armor vehicle, so. Other than that, I think this weapon is pretty strong. It's strong against soldiers, against police officers, and obviously very strong against civilians, so. But yeah, is, is this weapon worth it at level 3? I think it is, man. Uh, it's way better than the level 2. Because I feel like the level 2 is a hit marker machine. But the level 3, man. Um, it's a big difference, man. It's a very, big, very, very big difference. But yeah, man. Hopefully you guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe. And yeah, man. Uh, see ya, guys.